Western Washington is filled with beautiful towns and cities, but only one is in the running for best Main Street in America. In fact, Snohomish is the only town west of the Rockies still in the running. So I spoke with Frank Sandoval, a lifelong resident, to tell us five things that make Snohomish so special. All right, so you're the owner of the Snowtown Brewery. You've lived in Snohomish like your whole life, right? Yeah, we got, uh, my son is in Snohomish High School and he is the fifth generation to go so, to Snohomish High School. Super proud. Do, what do we call a Snohomish resident or are you a? Snohomian. A Snohomian? Yep. Okay, I'm glad to know that. Well, let's talk about some of the things that makes you guys such a great, great candidate for Main Street America winner. Ground Frog Day. What happens on Ground Frog Day? Ground Frog Day is a really fun event put on by the Snohomish Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we have up here in the summertime, we have Klahaya Days, which is our like little town festival. And the mascot is Snohomish Slough, a frog. So we needed something that we were gonna do in say late winter uh, to bring people downtown, get people out of their house a little bit. Well, the Northeast has Punxsutawney Phil, but what does Punxsutawney Phil know about the Northwest weather? Nothing. So we have Snohomish Slough comes out, gives a weather prediction, and it's often correct for the Northwest. Often correct. <laughs> Aren't we all shooting for that to be yeah. often correct? Okay, let's talk about some of your most famous uh, residents. Chrissy Teigen, of course, is a huge star, and she often mentions her hometown, but tell me more about how that affects Snohomians. <laughs> no, we, we love Chrissy. Chrissy Teigen's great, but everybody knows the true star of Snohomish is Earl Averill. Earl Averill was a high school graduate, and uh, my, actually my great-grandmother went to high school with him. Wow. And he went on to play for the Cleveland Indians, and he's in the Baseball Hall of Fame, actually. That's pretty cool. And, I did not know that. Yeah, it's true. And then the be best part is uh, the, Earl, the Averill family donated a, a plot of land uh, to, in the, right in the middle of Snohomish and dedicated it to be a play field. So it's for decades and decades and, and generations, it's been a place for kids to play and hang out. There's a skate park there now. And it, it was a wonderful thing that the, the Averill family did. I like it, it's awesome. Now, I understand this is a bit of history. The county seat was stolen from Snohomish, stolen, no less, and moved to Everett in 1896. Well- What in the world happened? I, I, you use the word moved? Yeah. You use the word stolen. Let me tell you something. Stolen. Uh, so it, it's possibly, it, it, it quite possibly is rumor, but based in truth, that, uh, <laughs> that in the middle of the night, a bunch of people from Everett came over on their horse and buggy and broke into the courthouse and stole all the county records so they could hold the seat. So they're now the county seat, which I'm sure at the time upset the people of Snohomish. Looking back on it now, at least we don't have to have the jail. <laughs> Everett can keep it. It might have been a good thing. Is it, are, are the hard feelings gone or is there still? Hard, no hard feelings at all. Keep in mind, that now that they're the county seat, they have to have the courthouse and the jailhouse. And when you let someone out of jail, they can stay in Everett if they want. All right, Everett, there you go. Over to you. Antique capital of the Northwest. Yeah, it's true. Um, decades and decades and a couple of several generations ago, Snohomish was nothing but taverns and churches. And uh, somewhere along the line, First Street slowly started converting into antiques and junk shops, as they were called then. And they realized that it's a, it's a good way to bring tourists in. And all summer long, you get, you'll you see busloads of people come in just to haunt the shops. You know, There's all kinds of shops up and down First Street. It's all within walking distance. Make a day of it. It's really easy. Yeah, sounds like fun. And then since you mentioned haunted, there's, uh, there's something we need to talk about, the Oxford Saloon, and I understand you have a personal connection to it, and that people think that it is, you know, inhabited by spirits. Yeah, there's, I mean, Not there's the no doubt. the kind we drink, but the other kind of spirits. Well, there's no doubt about it. I mean, it's, it's pretty well almost proven. Uh, the Oxford Saloon. <laughs> this is like the fact that came out of rumor. This is almost proven. <laughs> it's true. It's all true. Um, Oxford Saloon. I mean, my, my grandma used to bartend there. And there's a spirit that haunts the place. Her name was Kathleen. And you can see her from time to time. So there's the Oxford. There's, uh, there's the old Marks building, the Cabbage Patch restaurant. But mostly, mostly the old library had a librarian in it. 
that passed away. She used to read, she used to help children. She worked in the children's section and she could back, back then you could still find her once in a while in the children's section. Not, not a scary spirit, not a bad person. She was the librarian. Her name, name was Kathleen McMurchie and you'd still be able to see her there. And she was a kind old lady and even uh, her spirit was kind. Well, I mean, if there's going to be a ghost story, it's nice for it to be a friendly one, right? It's true. So what would you say on behalf of Snohomish, somebody elsewhere is thinking, well, my town's pretty cool. What makes Snohomish just that much better? You know, there's, there's nothing like it. We're, we're, we're a small, tight-knit commu community, and uh, a lot of people who live here stay here for a long time. Because they love it. Because they love it. <laughs> Let's help Snowtown. Head on over to New Day's website and you can vote. We'll have a link for you to vote for Snohomish to be named the best American Main Street. Let's do this thing.